Hey, how's it going? Good morning, everybody. It's about 8.10. I'm at the Pak Nam BTS station. I just did a video walking from the Royal Thai Naval Academy down here to Pak Nam. We're very close to the Chao Priya River. The, uh, the Naval Academy is on the river, so I'm assuming this college across the way, Samupra Khan Polytechnic College, is close to the Chao Priya. So let's go over there and take a peek and just explore this uh, old school Thai neighborhood, Pak Nam. So looking off in the one direction on the riverside, we have a, a Wat. And there's a large kind of Seattle Space Needle looking tower down the way. I had to look it up. It's the Samut Prakan Learning Tower, I think it was called. Now I have to look it up again. I mentioned it in the other video, the uh, walk from Royal Thai Navy Academy, that I didn't know the name of uh, that large pointy building. It's on the other side of the street. We'll get over there and check it out. But it's an iconic building in the area. You'd be able to see it if the train station wasn't in the way. There's a college to the right here, Samuk Pakan Polytechnic. I'm going to see if uh, this campus goes along the river. I'm always curious about this area. Just coming up a short distance from uh, Bangkok and, and being near the water. Yeah, I know you can hang out on the Chow Praia around Icom Siam and all that, but I'm just up for exploring new areas. Yeah, and if it does, it's more just for the students. Kind of a guard came right up on me. Uh, hey, can I help you? I said, no, I was just trying to get over to the river, and he just said, no can, no can. So fair enough, I'm not trying to upset anybody. Here's a little uh, six-story apartment complex, I think. No, it's actually a building. Internal Communicable Disease Control. So far, no quote-unquote large IDO buildings or life buildings right directly hooked to uh, Pak Nam BTS. That's kind of the norm. There's usually at least one, sometimes two large buildings, but we are getting down the way here, and this train station, I don't believe, was here five years ago. I'm not sure exactly, but I remember when uh, On Newt was the end of the line for years and years. We're still on Sukhumvit, but I think at some point we stopped with the uh, 101, 102, 117s, you know, as you're going up the way towards Bering, because I'm seeing Sukhumvit 25, 27, that kind of thing. So I'm trying to understand the dynamic. I just assumed it kept going like Sukhumvit 200, but yeah, I don't think that's the case. Now this is a public street off to the right. So I'm gonna walk down there. I'm assuming that crane is, is near the river, but I won't know till I get down there. Oh, actually it says Samuprakan Immigration Office and the Disaster Prevention and Mitigation Provisional Office. That's a mouthful. And that, I'm still trying to give you a shot of that uh, learning tower, but it's off in this direction. We'll get over there when we cross the street. Let's go over here and uh, try to find the river. And before anybody asks, I do not have the answer if this is a full immigration office. If you can come here because it's quieter. Oh, there's that uh, tower. Let me get the exact name here in a second. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure you have to go to the immigration office, which matches your address. In my case, it's the busy Chang Watanan in Bangkok. Perhaps you could come up here and, and do a... Uh, pay the 1900 baht to get another 30 days but I have no idea I think you can do that at any immigration office but I am not the person to ask okay it says the Samut Prakan learning tower it's 180 meters tall it gives sweeping views of the Chow Praia River and it's a tourist attraction however it opens at 10 in the morning and it's about 820 so I'm not sticking around till 10 but it is right here on the Pak Nam BTS if you want to come up and take a look I try to be in air conditioning by 10 a.m. I don't mind getting out in here and walking uh, 10 miles, looking around, but uh, doing it in the heat of the day and even right now at uh, 
whatever it is, 8.20 in the morning. Yeah, it's hot. Okay, I think that's the river right there. Oh, I'd be real interested if you can catch some kind of water taxi up here. I have, I have no idea how that w works, but I'm sure they've uh, figured out how to use the Chapriar River for thousands of years to travel around. Park Nam Post Office tucked away back here. And again, I don't, uh, I don't do a lot of research. I do a lot of looking around and just kind of figuring out how, how things go. I thought I listened to the Bangkok podcast. It's a, uh, it's really good. Ed and Greg and and I think they were talking about how they were surprised they don't use the river more for tourists. I guess I mean there's tourist boats up in the uh, Sapan Taxan area and all, but he says I'm really surprised. You know they don't have like a small cruise ship or something that wherever it would go from down the Chao Phraya into the Gulf of Thailand out to some close island that kind of thing he says uh they just don't do it so much here's a tugboat towing a barge and i see some uh tugboats up the way yeah i'm a water guy i lived on a half dozen sailboats over the years in between houses and uh wives <laughs> but uh anytime i can get out on the water yeah i'm comfortable and this looks like it might be uh uh what do you call it uh grayish navy ship or maybe coast guard i know the naval academy is just down the way so let's walk down there and there see if we can get a little peek i'm sure they have uh some kind of training ship for the midshipmen oh i i didn't notice but here's a little uh launching ramp it looks like they have some different cranes and uh, port operations down the way here closer to i'm assuming we're getting pretty close to the gulf of thailand i know they have a large port up there by on on newt with uh shipping containers and all but i'm sure that's not the only game in town again i see the telltale signs of uh of a shipping port down the way and i see a smaller uh, peknam customs and boarding station i know there's a huge customs building uh over near where i live kind of behind the lotus on the rama area i'm on soy 26 that's for the main port, I would assume. Yeah, so these all appear to be uh, customs boats. Head out and meet the large uh, freighters as they drop anchor here in the Chow Prior, waiting to waiting to pull in and offload. And it looks like they might be building another customs office. I'm not sure. Here's a gas pump. And there's a better view of the learning tower. Yeah, this Chow Prior kind of snakes all around in, in different directions. It's it's a tricky tricky navigation, I would assume, to get these uh, large ships up this relatively narrow river. I remember going to Portland in the Navy, and is that the Willamette? I think it is. I, I know you come off the Pacific there around Astoria, Oregon, and Portland, I believe is one of the furthest inland ports in the United States. So it's a, it's quite a navigational feat to get up these large rivers, you know, miles and miles inland. But with GPS and all, I guess it makes it a little easier. And this looks, uh, has all the signs of a, a large fishing boat. So I'm not sure if I'll have access, but I'm gonna walk off in this direction as far as I can. And then, who knows, I might be up to the next train stop. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I say I don't prepare, and I don't. I just get off at a train stop, and I look around, and oftentimes I end up at the next train stop. That's the one good thing about the uh, BTS, is it just kind of runs down Sukhumvit, and uh, you can't really get lost. I guess you can, but I just have that landmark. And I'm assuming this is like a water taxi heading out to that uh, anchored whatever it is, freighter. But yeah, it would be nice if they had, and maybe they do, some kind of a water taxi system. Maybe it's just not profitable. There's just not enough people up here heading all the way down into what I'll call central Bangkok to make it worth. I mean, they have the BTS now, and they've always had the old school buses. 
BTS is kind of expensive for folks that are not earning a lot of money. Jumping on that thing way up here, Park Nam, and going all the way, let's say they work in a hotel in Asok, that, I, I'm guessing, could be over 40 baht, probably well over 40 baht for one way. Yeah, and that's kind of a cool little boat. Well, it's not that little. And here's another. Just off to the left, I'm not sure if this is uh, open to the public or if it's a, a little uh, government workout area. I'm not positive. It, it looks like it's open to the public. There's many of these uh, free gyms and different parks and all around Bangkok. And this one right on the side of the Chai Praia River is a nice place to work out. And there goes a smaller shipping container craft. Again, crossing past pretty close with this uh, tugboat towing a huge barge. Actually, three of them in a row. And getting our boundaries, that large building off in the distance, I believe that is the Knights Bridge. It's kind of in between Royal Thai Academy and you can see the BTS leaving the uh, Pak Nam BTS station. You can always tell the BTS stations with the rain guard. And those two older buildings off in the direction that's really all I see around this Paknam area so so the Knights Bridge is probably your your best choice for a nice building and this is all in Thai I'm assuming it uh, has something to do with the Chao Phraya River and all the water customs and things that are going on it also said there was a customs office over here so we'll walk down in this direction but there's a statue over here i'm gonna go check out i hear uh the signs of a triple seven or something overhead uh, we're kind of off in the direction of uh suwanapum although it's kind of off in that way yes it's all in thai but uh that gentleman's definitely in a naval uniform And again, this is all in Thai over here, so I'm assuming it's some form of government building. I'm going to walk off in this direction, but it looks like the water access stops down the way, and, and it's just uh, private docks. And you can translate that if you'd like. Not a bad place to work out. And I'm seeing all ages of people working out, so yeah, I'm assuming it's just a public space. And as I suspected, I'm coming to the end of the line. I see uh, some different port operations down the way, but I'm gonna be forced to uh, head back in this direction. So I'm gonna head over towards that uh, learning tower and maybe I'll be close to the next train station. I'm not sure. I'm not positive if I can get through this way. Of course, I could uh, look it up on Google Maps, but what fun would that be? I'd rather just kind of get lost around the neighborhood. I'm only going to get so lost with, uh, with that as my landmark. I think that's right on or very close to Sukhumvit. And looks like we have a large police station across the way. I see a bus, so maybe I'm closer to Sukhumvit than I thought. And there's the Red Cross, Samuprakan. And I've kind of tucked on my way back into this neighborhood. I thought I was a little closer to, uh, to the train, but yeah, I think it is over there by the Learning Tower. So I'm going to head across this crosswalk. There's a nice walkway, but it's closed. I'm kind of interested in this neighborhood. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. There's a paddy wagon. And across the way, the Samupakan Provisional Court. I have no idea if I head off in this direction, if I'm... Uh, leading myself away from the train? I'm not sure, but I can always uh, 
put it in reverse and head towards that learning tower. So let's go see what's up here. I know the river is, is just to the right. I would like to find like a cool little community right on the river with uh, little restaurants and bars. I remember a year ago, I was trying to find a beach cruiser and they're, they're almost impossible to find brand new over here. You can order them on Lazada, but yeah, I didn't really feel like uh, putting a beach cruiser together. So I was looking up used bikes and all these used bike shops in Samut Prakan down this way kept popping up. I just walked by two. So I don't know if this is the place where they bring all the bikes in from Japan or whatever it is, but if you're looking for a used bike, I've walked by two shops so far. And this would be off in the direction where you see those radio antennas. That's some port buildings and the river. I see a crocodile farm five kilometers ahead. And it does say uh, Samut, is that Jetty Pier is up here and around the way, but we already took a, a look at the, uh, at the water. So now I better start making my way closer towards the train. I get off in these walks and I find myself uh, three miles away from the train. Now that's my landmark and it would stand to reason you could go straight up this street and get over there. But it would not surprise me at all if I walked a half a kilometer down this way and it's just a dead end. That's just how some of these streets go. And here's a watt and it looks like a bot bus staging area. I'm sure they uh, pick passengers up, up the way and, and this is where they wait to fill the buses up, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, and as suspected, I think I'm just walking into a neighborhood. It looks like we have a dead end down the way, but let's at least hope I can uh, shoot off to the left or I'm going to do a lot of backtracking. I'm going to go left where this uh, taxi driver just came out. Well, I think he came out of a condo, but they seem to know the way. Cool little restaurants tucked away back here. It's all in Thai, but I see a lot of 15 and 25 baht options. Okay, well, I see the train right there, and this looks like the back entrance to the uh, learning tower. So I'm just going to walk through and uh, see if I pop out up on the train. And here's some dinosaurs at the base of that learning tower. I'm sure hoping I walked all the way through the grounds of this learning tower, and it would not surprise me if it's all locked up tight over here until 10 o'clock when they open. But I'm going to attempt to pop out. I've walked by a couple of smiling guards, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you, you know, you'd think they would tell you, hey, it's all locked up. You can't go that way, but it's almost like none of my business where you're going. And here's an old train right out in front of the Park and Tower ticket office. I thought I read something was free. It doesn't make sense just for Operation's sake, they have to charge something. Yeah, ticket information. Now look it up. Samut Prakan Learning Park and Tower. And there's the train. I assume it's pulling into Pak Nam. I'm gonna just follow the tracks up to the next station. Hopefully it's not two miles apart. I already saw the Pak Nam area, so let's uh Go up to the next station, whichever that is. And there's some nice artwork. And, and if I'm correct, Pak Nam BTS is uh, about three blocks down that way. This is Sukhumvit. And I don't see another station. Maybe, maybe that's it. Uh, I see it like a crossover bridge. There's no large condos or anything on the side of either of these stations, but let's at least walk down this way. These large condos, they're not only for expats. I'd say they're 80%, if not more, maybe 90% ties, but they're ties that are making a little bit more cash, and they're probably doing that in more of central Bangkok. So there's just not as large a reason to build a huge Knights Bridge right on the, you know, whatever the BTS station is, 30 miles, 30 minutes outside of Asok, but eventually they will. So 
and motorbike service, tow car. Yeah, just like any big city in the world, it's just going to keep expanding. And the fact that they have this uh, beautiful train system at some point coming 30 miles, 30 miles, I keep saying, 30 minutes. I'm thinking like a, a California guy driving 30 miles to work is uh, average. But 30 minutes out here at some point is, is going to seem like a real bargain. And unfortunately, some of these more local buildings are going to be pushed out of the way. And big, huge, fancy buildings right next to the train station are going to pop up. We've made our way up to Sukhavit Road 12. And this is off in the direction of the river. I'm standing at a motor taxi stand, racing people down the way. All right, well, there's a six-story unit building. Not really close to any BTS station, but if you're living on a very, very fixed income and uh, as affordable as possible is more important than how close you are to the Terminal 21 in Asok, there are just so many options. You just need to get out here and explore. There's a large 7-Eleven next to a small, smaller Mr. DIY. Mr. DIY is a cross between a 99 cent store and a Home Depot. You'll find all kinds of phone cables, screws, all kinds of hardware. Okay, and it's not the train station ahead. I thought where that uh, crossover might be the train station, but it looks like the track's heading off to the right, and I'm walking off to the right. That's what's happening. It looks like a pretty large service center, probably servicing many of the shops, the smaller shops you see all over Bangkok. They work these motorbikes hard, using them like pickup trucks at times, so I'm sure uh, chains, tires, wheels, that's constantly changing. And Sukhumvit's kind of heading inland. You can see that crane way off in the distance. That's the Chapriya River. And getting away from the river, we're easing off to the left. A lot of bikes out here. Sales, repairs, one shop after another. And across the way is Sri Muprakan, a world-class standard school. And here's a Caltex with Tecron. It has all the Texaco markings that we have in the U.S. There must be a half dozen buses in here. And I've came up to Sukhumvit Road 14. That's a look down 14. As you can see, we're just getting further and further inland from the river. And if you'd like to Google exactly where I'm at, check out the home cafe and restaurant. And just across the way, I'm not sure if it, that's the same Amway that I've, I've seen in the United States and probably all over the world. I came around this corner, I see a large radio station tower. And there's the train station. So that was a heck of a lot longer walk than say in between Nana and Asok. Maybe it was maybe like Nana to Prom Pong, which makes sense. They're not gonna have a train station every quarter of a kilometer out here and this looks like one of the headquarters for the Metropolitan Electrical Authority there's a lot of heavy-duty trucks and equipment and this guy will probably help slow you down and I love these little uh, old-school restaurants But we're getting up to the BTS station, whichever it is. All right, and here's where we are, and that's a tricky one. I'm gonna have to ask somebody how to to say that. I try to give myself a half a pass on uh, some of these pronunciations. I mean, I know how to say Sawanapum, I always had, and I heard somebody on YouTube the other day say, well, I just landed at Sawanabubiam or something, and yeah, I give that guy a pass too, because uh, 
the way Sawanapum is spelled and pronounced are a little tricky, just like uh, this BTS station. So I'm gonna ask a local if I can find one. It's pretty quiet over here before I even attempt that pronunciation. And I get it, I get it. The one guy who keeps leaving a comment, dude, dude, it's tonal. If you'd only understand, it's a tonal language. You could totally say it. I'm much better than you. It's tonal, it's tonal. Take it easy, that guy. And I was just told to say Sinandagreen. Sinandagreen. Let me double check. Okay, maybe she said Sinandagreen. I'm asking the motor taxi driver. Anyhow, I'm sure I'm not coming close. And I'm sure I'll be corrected by Mr. Tonal Guy. But for the other 99.9% .9 of us, just do the best you can to be respectful. Yeah, it'd be great if we all had time to master the Thai language, but shoot, I don't remember 99% of the other things I've learned in life. I used to know how to fly an airplane. I, I bet uh, I would be hard pressed to start an airplane today. That's just how it goes as you get older. Your brain gets wore out. As a matter of fact, if you're uh, 70 years old and mastering the Thai language, I'd be a little suspect. And I'm just kidding around. I'm sure there's some genius 70 year olds out there, but that's just not me or many of my buddies. We just do the best we can. And we're fine with that. This is looking down. So, Kavit, I am uh, getting a little tired. I've been out walking around since uh, about 6.45 this morning, so I really appreciate you watching these looks around Bangkok and, uh, in this case, the Khan. I'm going to jump back on uh, the BTS. I think I, I think I am. And head back towards, uh, where am I going? Maybe Prom Pong area. So you take it easy and have a great morning. I really appreciate you watching, leaving comments, I guess, except for the tonal guy. Even him, you can leave your, you can leave your comments telling me I'm saying Sukhumvit wrong every time. Actually, it's Sukhumvit, Sukhumvit. You need to say it like a Thai person. Okay. And when he comes to California, I'm going to demand he says it's Los Angeles, not Los Angeles. You take it easy and have a good morning.